Hello and welcome to another SprueCam tutorial brought to you by SprueCam America. In this video, I'm going to show you how to flip a part around and set a new work offset. So as you can see, I've got tool paths on the first side of this part. What we need to do is we need to flip this around so we can machine the back side. To do that, we're going to create a G55. Now I'm going to show you how you can do that by creating it on the corner or how to go off of center. So the first step is we need to actually tell the machine to stop. Uh, right now, it just got done chamfering this corner. We need the machine to physically stop so we can actually physically flip the part around as well as touch off for the G55. To do this, let's go up to the drop down next to new, go to auxiliary, auxiliary operation and it should create it at the bottom. If it created it up here somewhere, you can just drag it down to the bottom. Let's double click auxiliary operation. And where it says command list, hit the bottom macro and just hit the red X. And keep clicking until there's nothing in there. Now what we're going to look for in this list is load TL. This is going to do one of two things. If you have an automatic tool changer, it's going to load that tool back into the changer and then grab tool number zero, which is nothing. So it's going to empty the spindle out. If you do not have an automatic tool changer, it's going to bring the spindle up to the tool change position and allow you then to remove the tool. Removing the tool is important uh, for safety reasons. You don't want a tool in the spindle while you're putting your hands in there, loosening, tightening the vise. If your hand were to slip, you could cut yourself. So we'll minimize load TL, and now we're going to look for stop, STOP. This is going to put an M0 into the G code, and so it'll physically stop to allow you to flip the part. Once you have that, you can hit OK. Now, what I like to do next is I like to just create the operation that I'm going to use first on the flip. In this case, it could be a face milling. To make this simple, I'm just going to copy a roughing water line here and paste it down below. Okay. So we now have an operation. Let's now go down into the bottom left here, hover over the button next to G54 and do create new CS by starting point X and Y. And we can select this back left corner. Now there's two ways that you can create this coordinate system. You can create it relative to this G54 that's been created here or you could do it relative to the global CS. Either one will work, but if you want to translate this coordinate system around, it's going to either be relative to this or to the global CS, which is the initial coordinate system. You can choose how you want to do that, but I'm going to then hit edit active CS in this case, and I want to hit this to G 55 and this is just naming it so we're going to hit okay and now what I need to do is under setup and tooling you got workpiece setup we can hit click that and make sure this is on the operation the first operation that's going to be used workpiece setup click and then hit the three dot button under geometrical CS hit the drop down and choose G55 and then hit okay and now where it says work PCS, click there, hit the three dot button, hit the drop down, and find G55. And then under LCS number, let's choose 55 because this is going to be a G55. And then hit OK. Now we have successfully flipped this part around to machine. All operations after this would use G55. Now let's say you wanted to go off of center instead of this. What I'm going to do is delete this operation. And I'm going to again, copy this roughing water line, left click here and hit paste. I'm going to quickly here, delete this coordinate system that I just created. All right, so we're back at start. Now let's say we want to go off of center. If I hover over this and choose create new CS by starting X and Y. What I'm looking to do is to snap this to the center of my part here. All right, anywhere will do. 
and I'm going to choose X and then Y, okay? But you'll notice that the coordinate system isn't at the top of the workpiece. It's somewhere down inside here, all right? In this case, it's at this level. I could have chose that level too. So we need to move this coordinate system up. So again, let's hover over this, hit Edit Active CS, and name this G55. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna move this, okay? And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to move this relative to the parent CS. In this case, that is this coordinate system right here. So instead of thinking about moving this coordinate system up, we're actually going to be moving it relative to this. So it's going to be a negative value. So in this case, we're sitting at the bottom. Uh, we're sitting at our part here. We want to move this down the distance of our, our material. In this case, I have half inch material. So I'm just going to put in here negative 0.5. And you'll now see that coordinate system snaps up to the top. So I can hit OK. And again, I can come down into setup and tooling, hit the three dot button, choose G55, hit OK. Hit the three dot button for work PCS, choose G55, and then change it to 55 and hit OK. Hopefully this video helps. Have a wonderful day.